Hello everyone, I am Sai Rezner. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Green. Today's will try to uh, do the 4G plus speed test comparison between all of these three smartphones which I got right now, IQ7, MI 11 device, OnePlus OnePlus 9R. I'll try to do the speed test and I'll try to even do the download speed test as well. That is the reason I did have this kind of stopwatch. I'll try to download the game from the Play Store using the three Geo SIM cards as you can see friends. So I did have three Geo SIM cards right now with each of the smartphone. I'll try to use this Geo SIM card only at the same time. I'll try to test which phone will be having the faster internet speed i'll try to keep an eye on that and which phone can actually get the 4g plus aggregation test as well and which phone can actually download the game faster in the play store that is what i'll try to do this is a kind of practical test which lot of users i did ask me to do and in case if you want more uh, 4g plus speed test comparisons so make sure to type in the youtube 4g plus SciTech guru you'll get all the videos which are uploaded recently friends on the plenty of other smartphones as you can clearly see try to check those videos just type on the youtube you can find all the videos related for the 4g G plus comparisons so let's get started friends first uh, one by one let's install this uh, sim cards in the in their mobile phones let me try to use a geo sim card only i'll try to show you exactly which phone is getting the carrier aggregation as well this is the indoor testing i totally forgot to mention this is an indoor type of testing i'm trying to do right now so the results will be completely different if you're trying to do the outdoor testing and right now in the metropolitan city then definitely the results will be uh, again different right now i'm in the town so definitely friends i do get a little bit of not that high speeds so this can be the really good example for the people who are living in the normal towns and if they want to get to know which phone has a better kind of connectivity this video will be perfect example for you all so before buying the smartphone so make sure to watch this video friends completely so that is the reason so let me need to quickly show you the notification and let me need to show you even which phone is getting the 4g plus aggregation that is what i'll try to focus right now on the notification bar you can see on the notification bar in the iq7 device so you're not getting any kind of 4g plus aggregation so this is the indoor if i try to go outdoor then i'll be getting the 4g plus so this is only one phone right now which doesn't have the 4g plus aggregation you can see so let's let's move to the mi linux device so it is the mi linux device friends which i'm trying to use right now so which has got the 4g plus aggregation on the top let me show you exactly as you can click clearly see friends so sometimes it's coming sometimes it's not coming but most of the time the 4g plus aggregation will be there in this mi linux device when i'm trying to do the test definitely you'll be able to see it as you can see friends right now you're getting the 4g plus aggregation as well in the mi linux device these are indoors so let me try to show you the oneplus 9r as well so here's a oneplus 9r so which has got the 4g plus aggregation support on the notification panel as you can clearly see here so you're getting the 4g plus and you're not getting but overall right now at this point in the indoor condition so in the extreme uh, low signal mode i think mi 11x and the oneplus 9r these two phones will be getting the 4g plus but not the iq7 device this, i'm not talking about everywhere the metropolitan city is completely different so you don't need to worry about the metropolitan city so now let me try to open the net monster application in all the three smartphones and show you what it's uh, displaying exactly in the iq7 device we do know that the phone doesn't have the, any kind of 4g plus aggregation so it's showing only lte 1800 as you can clearly see friends so now let's move to the mi linux device so right now in the mi linux device net monster application is not showing any kind of lte but on the top of the notification panel you can clearly see it's showing 4g plus aggregation as well as you can clearly see friends so now let's move to the oneplus 9r device so right now in the OnePlus 9R, we will be able to see the 4G plus aggregation even in the NetMonster application as you can clearly see friends. Even in the notification panel, you will be able to see the 4G plus without any issues. So now let me try to open the speed test application in all the three smartphones and show you exactly what is the options we are trying to see. Let me try to quickly start this kind of speed test in this ML Linux device. So let's see friends, which phone will be showing the 4G plus. So right now you should be able to see in all the phones you, are, you will be able to see the Geo 4G. So let me try to quickly do, zoom into the speed test as you can clearly see friends. Geo, Geo, Geo in all the three smartphones you, you are getting the same kind of server. It's loaded. I let me try to start the test in the IQ7 first and let's see how much the IQ7 will be scoring. I'll try to do the test only one time in all the three smartphones just to show you how much score uh, we can actually expect in these uh, smartphones. That is what I'm trying to see right now. So I'm getting about I think close to a... Uh, 6.6 .6 mbps something like the 7 mbps right now so this without any kind of 4g plus you can clearly see here friends so all the three smartphones are same geo sim in same location in the indoor condition the iq7 did not get the 4g now we need to go to the mi linux device let's test in the mi linux smartphone let's see how much in the mi linux we can expect the 4g speeds so in the mi linux device we are getting the 4g speeds about 10 mbps it's close to 11 mbps so it went up to 9 and it started to decrease as well so right now i'm getting even the 4g plus as you can see friends on the top 4g plus 
So these with the 4G plus speeds, I did get about 8.60 Mbps. With the 4G plus, you can clearly see here. So next, let's let's try, uh, try to move to the OnePlus 9R device. So let's see how much the OnePlus 9R can actually get that kind of speed. So once the test has been completed, I'll try to start the test in the OnePlus 9R. So let's see in the OnePlus 9R also, friends, we'll get to know. And later, I'll try to press all the three phones at the same time. And in the OnePlus 9R, we are getting about speeds. Uh, it's kind of slightly slow than other phones. But let's see what will the final result in this phone. And you're getting on the top 4G Plus as well. As you can clearly see, friends, on the top 4G Plus. So 8.49 Mbps. You did see the results. And in the second position, so the first position is the MI Linux device. So I'm not saying that MI Linux is always in the top position, but it depends upon the location to location as well, friends. That is another thing you need to uh, consider as well. So this is a very, very closed environment I'm trying to do in my studio only. So that is the reason you are getting this kind of uh, low speeds. But let me try to do the test at same time in all the phones. So I did click at same time in all the phones. Let's see which phone will be able to complete first. So right now the IQ7 is detecting the first, as you can clearly see, detected first 7 Mbps and still the ML NX and the OnePlus 9 are phones, they are trying to load. They're still connecting as you can see friends right now. I think when you try to do this test at same time, this is what happens sometimes. So right now the OnePlus 9 are and the ML NX also, they started to increase the speeds and uh, OnePlus 9 is getting about 7 and 6 and ML NX 5 and 6. So next, let us let me try to do the speed test in terms of the download. That is what I am trying to do right now. Let me try to move to the download speed test. That will be the really interesting test. So instead of uh, just clarifying you all the doubts, just moving before uh, cl closing up, that is what I am trying to do right now. So in this overall friends, even though the IQ7 does not have any kind of 4G place, but still it was able to perform really co close to the 4G play smartphones. So let us see what will the final results right now. So 9 Mbps, 7 Mbps and 5 Mbps, we got the results. And in this test, the IQ7 did perform a little bit kind of better, not but 4G place is still missing in the indoors. Let me need to open the game which I want to download. As you can see, friends, all the three smartphones I did open the same game did target the game size is of close to 153 uh, MB. As you can see, friends, 153 MB. So this should be kind of enough for me to test the download speeds, which phone will be having the better download speeds. So let me to start the test. So I'll try to start the test at same time in all the three smartphones. Let me try to do that first. So let's see friends which phone will be able to finish the data first. So all the phones are started at same time. Let me try to start the stopwatch as well. The stopwatch is also started and you can see the download speeds is going on. In all the three smartphones as you can clearly see friends. The download speeds. So let's see which phone will be able to complete uh, the data the download first. So ML Linux is still loading little bit but not uh, much. Let's see. The ML Linux just now is started in the ML Linux device. So whereas other smartphones, the OnePlus 9R is in the lead with the 9, 10%, the OnePlus 9R as you can clearly see friends, the OnePlus 9R and uh, the let's position goes to the IQ7 device, 8% but ML Linux did, it is coming closer as you can clearly see the difference, ML Linux is doing its best. So let's see the OnePlus 9R right now reached to 17%, you can clearly see friends the download speed test, so this is what we call the practical test. So only while doing the download, we'll be able to get to know which phone has what kind of potential in it. So 22 Mbps to 23% the download has been finished in the OnePlus 9 are 16 and 15. 17 and 15 as you can see the difference. So this is the way I'll be doing friends all the 4G kind of comparisons. So that is the reason I did ask you to type in the YouTube 4G place and type the phone name and type my name. Then you can find the videos whatever I uploaded on the particular model. So try to watch those videos and try to understand what is the problem. Only then try to buy the smartphone. 35% is in the OnePlus 9 it's in the lead and 30% is in the MI Linux device in the second position and third position is the IQ7 device. So which has 22% right now, 23 as you can clearly see friends and the ML Linux and the OnePlus 9R are slightly close to each other. So let's see which phone will be able to finish the download first. So right now the time is about 1 minute and uh, 50 seconds it's scanned as you can see clearly friends 1 minute and 50 seconds right now. So make sure to comment below in case if you want me to change any kind of different different settings I can do that as well. So right now I do have only 3 Geo sims 
if there is one more geo sim i could have added the realme exxon max as well friends that's really uh, sad so maybe i'll need to buy another geo sim i'll see if i can to do this kind of testings only so 33 mb 33 percentage 49 percentage and 55 percentage right now you can see the practical test which is going on right now in the everyday situation so right now as you can see friends in the one test 9r it's of 82 percentage so let me just slightly zoom inside so you can see the actual percentage uh, difference so 55 percentage friends in the iq7 device 83 84 percentage and 92 percentage as you can clearly see the difference so in the indoor conditions uh, the signals will be really low in the iq7 device so that is what a uh, little bit kind of problem is there in the iq7 smartphone and the oneplus is successfully going to complete as you can see it's going to complete 99 percent in installing as you can see i did click the timer as well so 4 minutes and 46 seconds the oneplus 9r took to download and install completely so the mi linux let's see what is the mi linux percentage right now as you can see if it's 94 percentage i'll try to tap exactly at same time the lap so we'll be able to record the time so 4 minutes 46 seconds and mi linux 5 minutes and 9 seconds the mi linux device so it's downloaded and the iq7 phone still it's going on as you can clearly see friends so still it's going on so that is what in terms of the connectivity the first preference i would be giving to the oneplus device so not considering that 5g bands and all those things i'm just considering the normal 4g plus uh, point of view only not the 5g and everything so that is where i'll give slightly points for the oneplus uh, device in terms of the connectivity and in terms of having the type c port 3.1 version type c1 so these two things i particularly like the oneplus phones as a future proof option and whereas the iq7 even this phone is performing the same way and even the iq z3 which i got recently even this phone is also having the very uh, low signal issues with the iq7 device iq z3 as well so i'm not sure friends what is happening with the iq phones i think uh, usually the iq phones this is my first time i did buy the iq phone and that is the reason i'm experiencing this kind of problems so connectivity is really poor in the iq7 device in the normal towns and rural areas if you're trying to live so this is the overall final uh, test result which I got. I made it to show you exactly how much time it actually took. Let me need to write down the readings. So all friends, these are the timings for the download test which I did for just for 150 MB only. So only for the 150 MB you are seeing this much of difference. So just imagine friends, if you are trying to download the 1 GB file, how much difference you can actually feel with the 1 GB file. So 6 minutes versus 2 or uh, 2, uh, four, I think 4 minutes and 46 seconds. So this is a quick difference between all the these three smartphones in, the, in terms of the download and the speed test results. So in, the, in terms of the speed test results, we may not be able to get to know which phone has got what kind of speeds. That is the reason I thought of doing the practical download test in the play store that's a really good uh, thing so which i did and i'll try to do this kind of same kind of video using the three geo sim cards in other smartphones as well realme exxon max realme exxon pro realme x2 pro so make sure to stay tuned for that videos in case if you're interest, interested so don't forget to hit that subscribe and also do support me friends because i do, do need all your support so make sure to hit that subscribe and make sure to support me and thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video until then stay tuned bye